Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the second price increase from Louis Vuitton this year. First, it, the first price increase happened in January, and now here we are in March, and it has happened again. This price increase has affected every single item, as far as I know. That's what they put out there. Um, everything went up by 3%. Now, for people who have pre-orders, don't worry. As long as you put in your pre-order before March 4th, um, your pre-order items will not be affected by the price increase. So there's good news there for you. So for starters, I just wanted to let you guys know that this will just be a short video. I'm not going to, well, semi-short video. Um, I'm not going to go over every single item that has gone up in price, but I kind of want to give you guys an idea of what prices have gone up on the popular items. So that's where we'll start. So our monogram speedies, um, they all went up by $30, which isn't so bad. You know, it's it's still a starter bag, even though it's priced over a thousand dollars. I know that's kind of crazy to say a starter bag for over a thousand, but that's how it is with the Louis Vuitton brand. So yes, they, those all went up by $30 in all the sizes. Second for the Speedy Bandolier in canvas, um, the 25 went up by $40, and then the 30, 35, and 40 went up by $50. Oh, by the way, everything is in US dollars. I forgot to say that at the beginning, but if you haven't noticed, <clears throat> if you haven't noticed, yes, everything is in US dollars because the price increase just hit the US today and it already happened in Europe, I believe, last week. So back to the Neverfull. They all went up by $40 in each size of PM, MM, and GM. The Graceful, both sizes PM and MM, went up by $40. The Neo Noe went up by $50. And it went from $1,650 to $1,700. That's creeping up close to the $2,000 mark. And for me, when it comes to Louis Vuitton, if I'm going to spend $2,000, it needs to be a leather piece. Like, I'm just not willing to spend that much money on a canvas piece. I've done it once with the Tornell. It was a great choice because they discontinued that bag maybe after I think a year or two. It didn't seem to be that popular for whatever reason, but it's a beautiful bag. They've had a bag similar to that, the Phoenix, that was out before, but those bags just didn't seem to hit it off, but I love them. Those are beautiful bags. But anyways, back on topic. The Pochette Matisse in monogram, it went up by 50. The reverse went up by 70. I mean, it was 1880, went up to 1950. Again, we're approaching the 2000 mark for canvas. At some point, you guys just have to make that decision. Are you willing to buy it over the look or functionality? But for me, leather is all the way. So if you've, like, if you've always been on the fence about canvas or leather, um, I'm here to tell you leather is better. <laughs> And as for the Empreinte, it did go up by $70 as well. And for the pricier bag from Louis Vuitton, I feel like is there a staple bag, which a bag that they try to compete with other fashion houses for, you know, you know, Chanel has their famous bags and Hermes does as well, or Hermes does as well. Um, the Capucines went up by $150 and that's just the base model. You know, you saw solid color, beautiful, simple bags. But of course, the ones with embellishments, you you know they went up by more than $150. Or, I mean, since the price tag goes up, it'll probably be more than $150. So let's switch over to accessories. For the key pouch, it only went up by $5, which really isn't so bad. Um, you know, that 3% really doesn't do much for the lower priced items. It just kind of creeps up on you over time, of course, but Five dollars is really nothing to complain about. Um, the mini pochette went up by ten. The pochette accessories went up by fifteen. And to rectify myself for last time, I did say in January that the prices went up, but they didn't. That was from a previous price increase, so I did get that wrong. But in this video, I know for sure that the toiletries did go up in price. So the fifteen went up by ten, and the nineteen and the twenty-six went up by fifteen dollars. The bandeaus which 
are kind of like my favorite thing. I kind of incorporated them into accessories. Um, if they're priced around $1.90, they only want to buy $5. But of course, there's going to be a few bandeaus that are priced over because of, you know, whatever they have added to them. But if they're around the $190 mark, no panic, it is only $5. And of course, I just wanted to bring in the Zippy wallet, the staple wallet from Louis Vuitton. Um, it only went up by $25. So for new releases, these are the things I've been looking at because I really been liking the on the go. So I was able to, you know, save those prices for when this video came up. So the reverse, the on the go GM in reverse went up by $80. Um, the on the go MM reverse went up by 50. The on the go GM on prompt went up by $250. That's, that's, that's pretty pricey there. Um, the trio pouch is up by 40. And the reverse key holder, yes, the reverse key holder only went up by $5. So that's the list I have here. I just wanted to do a short list of all of the popular things. So I am hoping you guys enjoyed this video. You know, you just save it for when you need to go back and try to figure out what was the price for this last year or the year before. To save this video for whenever you need to refer back to it. As always, if I made any mistakes or if you notice anything else, please let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear back from you guys. Let me know how I did. Or if you guys want to sound off about any other items, especially those hard case items, or the, sorry, the hard side items, you know, like your briefcases, your trunks, you already know those went through the roof with the price increase. Well, not through the roof, but substantially more than just these five and $10 price increases on some of the items. So thank you so much for watching guys. If you ever need help with authenticating Louis Vuitton bags, I can help you on Instagram or Facebook at Leah's Luxuries. You can also join me on Facebook at Louis Vuitton Socialites and Louis Vuitton Community if you want to buy, sell, and chat about bags. So I will hopefully see you guys on one of those platforms. Give me a follow on Instagram. I love to talk to you guys. It's just such a fun way to get to interact with people who love Louis Vuitton like me. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.